Cat, and today I'm doing my November wrap up and December TBR. So I only read three books in November, but I don't feel too bad about that because I also wrote a book. Or at least a rough draft of one. By the way, if you want to know how my NaNoWriMo went, check out my vlog channel because I did a bunch of videos all through NaNoWriMo over there. And my reading goal for November was one book. So the fact that I read three, that's like 300% of goal. I think that's pretty good. So first up, I read Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. This is the third book in the Hunger Games trilogy, and this was the Booksplosion book of the month. We also kind of did a movie of the month and watched the Mockingjay part one film. I'm not gonna talk too much about this book or the movie right now because I just did a live show discussion and talked about all of the things Things, but I will say that I love this book, I love the movie, it is a wonderful, amazing adaptation, and despite a few small issues, it was pretty close to perfect. I loved it, book and movie. If you want the spoilery details, then I'll put the link to the live show in the doobly-doo and you can check that out. Then I read The Evolution of Mara Dyer and The Retribution of Mara Dyer, both by Michelle Hodkin, and these are books two and three of the Mara Dyer trilogy. I don't know exactly how I feel about these books. Like, on one hand, I did enjoy them. They are very entertaining and engaging and I love the characters and the writing style, but on the other hand, I just don't connect with them as much as I want to. Like, I, I know that part of the effect of the story is being, like, confused and, like, what is going on, psychological thriller, but I felt confused in a not good way sometimes, and, like, I still don't completely get why some stuff happened. I'm sorry if that's vague. I don't want to spoil you. While I was reading these books, like, I couldn't put them down. They were so gripping and I was so, like, enthralled by them and I kept flipping the pages like, what's gonna happen? But when I found out what's gonna happen, like, it wasn't as... Mmm, explosive? But yeah, anyways, if you're looking for a good psychological thriller with good writing and dialogue and characters, then I would recommend checking these out, but something about the story just didn't settle entirely right with me. So yes, those are the three books that I read in November, and now let's move on to my big December TBR, which actually, technically, does not include any novels. Ooh, interesting. So first up, I have the Booksplosion Book of the Month pick for December, and that is Blankets by Craig Thompson. This is a graphic novel. It's actually one of the most well-known, critically acclaimed graphic novels out there, and this will be my first graphic novel. I've read some manga before, but Never a graphic novel. I feel like this is a good start, though. I've heard amazing things about this, critically acclaimed, so I'm very excited to get to it. The live show discussion for this book will take place on Saturday, January 3rd, so that is your read-by date if you want to join us, and I will just go ahead and put all the details in the doobly-doo in case you're interested. The next book I have here is another one that I'm reading as part of a read-along, and that is My True Love Gave to Me. This is a collection of 12 holiday-themed short stories edited together by Stephanie Perkins, and I'm still in love with how pretty this book is. Like, really, it's beautiful. I can't wait to read this book. Some of my favorite authors of all time have contributed short stories to this collection. And the live show for this read-along is going to take place on Sunday, December 28th. Again, I'll put all of the details in the description. The remaining 11 books of my December TBR are all non-fiction writing craft books. 
I just finished NaNoWriMo and I'm really loving my story and wanting to work on it and just like immerse myself in writing again. So I'm feeling like I want to read a bunch of writing craft books. And a lot of these are rereads for me, but they're the kind of books that you can reread. In fact, many of them you should reread at least every few years because they're just, they're so good and motivating, inspiring, helpful. I love a lot of these books and the ones I haven't read yet, I am very keen to get to. So here are the books and I'll go through the titles and covers and whatnot in a moment, but I'm not gonna talk a lot about these in this video right now because in January, once I have read slash reread all of these books, I'm going to make a video talking about them in detail and like recommending my favorite writing craft books kind of thing. So that will happen once I finish them all and for now I am just going to show you what they are. So first I have Zen in the Art of Writing by Ray Bradbury, which I actually just read a few days ago and I loved it. On Writing by Stephen King, which will be a reread for me, but I read it the first time like 10 years ago, so a reread is certainly in order. Bird by Bird by Anne Lamott, which I am actually currently reading. The Forest for the Trees by Betsy Lerner, which I have owned for a while, but this will be my first time reading it. Self-editing for Fiction Writers by Rennie Brown and Dave King. And this is gonna be like my fourth time reading this book. It's just a great book for new writers or as a refresher to people who are already like studying writing craft. It's just, it's good stuff. Then I have my Donald Maths collection here. Writing the breakout novel, The Fire in the Fiction, and Writing 21st Century Fiction. These will also be rereads for me, but I, I just, I love them so much. They're so brilliant and wonderful and useful and I'm looking forward to reading these again. And the last three books I have here are not about writing novels, but about writing screenplays. Even though novels and movies are very different mediums, a lot of the same storytelling principles apply to both. And I have found these three books in particular very helpful. These are also rereads for me. I have Story by Robert McKee, Save the Cat by Blake Snyder, and Screenplay by Sid Field. So yeah, this is my collection of writing craft books that I will be reading slash rereading this month. And again, I'll talk about all of these in more detail in a video in the new year. But yeah, that is gonna be it for this video today. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great night and I will have another vlog up soon. So I will see you then. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a cat. <laughs> so what if I did wake up at 2 p.m. today? What's it to you? You're not my real mom. It's hard to look hood when you're wearing a cardigan. Looks like a bathrobe. Now look, see here. Look over here. Yo vos sé yo. Yo vos sé yo. Yo vos sé yo. It's 11 o'clock at night too late for a Starbucks run. I mean, they're still open, so I'm gonna take that as a no. Okay, bye! I petted you, now I have to clean my lens.